today's episode we're gonna make a mixed fish mornay. Usually it's haddock mornay, but I had more fish. Gonna be much more flavors in that. First thing, what we're gonna do, it's a base for our mornay sauce. It means that we're gonna cook our whole fish with the bay leaves and all spice uh, in a in the milk. And then from this base we're gonna make the rest of the white sauce cheesy called Mornay sauce. First we're gonna dip all our fish. We have to wait about five to ten minutes when the fish gonna be cooked through and then we're gonna take out the fish and put it aside, wait for serving. Okay, our fish is ready. Take out all the fish. Okay, we don't want any bits and bobs in our sauce, that's why we're gonna may use a sieve to put everything to, to a bowl. Okay, now it's time for finishing the sauce. First the butter. Melt the butter. When it's melted, we add some flowers. Just use a plain flour and make a roux. It's a paste. It's a, like a base for any kind of sauce, white sauce. You can make uh, with the milk. You have standard bechamel sauce, or with some kind of stock and make a classic volute sauce, or just use this to take sauce you already have. We don't want to burn this, they stir very quick and when we start adding milk just uh, change spatula for a whisk and whisk very quick because the mixture is gonna take very fast. If you add all the milk, just take it off just for a second, put it on a, on a heat and wait when it's gonna tick and after that time just take it off from the heat because you don't want to make this too quick, too thick. Add some spices like nutmeg and on the very end uh, add cheese but take it off from the heat already. The sauce is already heated and the cheese is gonna melt inside. Just put it in a, in a cold place and then add the rest of the ingredients like mustard, Dijon, like salt, like pepper. Just take take a spoon and check the, the flavor. You can add white or black pepper, it depends on you. Okay, now our special layer of tomatoes and celery and onion. We're frying everything on the pan to the moment when our tomatoes, onion and celery is gonna be like a, like a paste just after very end check the flavor uh, if you need add some salt but remember that fish is gonna be very salty and uh, don't add too much when everything is fried just add our tomatoes and leave it to the moment when everything is gonna be very saucy <laughs> To speed up process we can use a masher to give you a nice consistency of paste and just leave it for a couple more minutes to reduce the, the water from that because we don't want water under our sauce. Now it's time for making a full dish. Okay, on the bottom we're gonna put some fresh leaves of uh, spinach. On that we make our fish mix. We just put a couple bits of every kind of fish we have. On that we're gonna spread our tomato spreadable paste. After that we're covering everything with our Mornay sauce. Okay, 
everything have to be covered nice because the sauce have to go, go under the under the, all the layers so it's gonna be that much taste better on the very end we put breadcrumbs on the top and some parmigiano reggiano cheese now everything is going to the oven for 20 minutes just to heat up everything after that time for about five minutes uh, under the grill to make a nice golden crust on the top okay we have a nice uh, nice crust and that's it yeah 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 yeah